Hi everyone, just a quick video on HT leads, what they are and what they do uh, and how to test them to see if it's the reason for either a rough idle on a car or possibly a misfire on a cylinder. So HT leads literally del deliver high voltage uh, and high current from either your coil pack or your distributor on towards your spark plug so the spark plug, plug can fire under extreme pressure uh, and burn that fuel air mixture in your cylinder. Obviously I've got these off a four cylinder engine so I've got one HT lead per cylinder. Uh, normally they are marked up when they're new uh, for which cylinder they're going. When we talk about cylinders one to four, one is normally the one that's at the timing belt end and you work from there. Um, so I've got four HT leads here, all slightly different lengths because of obviously the length of the engine. So number one is the longest in this case and number four is the shortest. So when I do my test in a minute, I'm going to be expecting the longest one to have the highest resistance and a gradual step down in resistance as the length decreases. Uh, within one of each uh, each of these HT leads, you've got a copper wire and it's thickly insulated to make sure that the current cannot escape and it does go to its intended path, which is onto the spark plug. So the outside's normally rubber or silicon or PVC or something similar and inside is just copper. And in this section here, you'll have a ceramic insulator to make sure, uh, again, that that high current gets to its and high voltage gets to its destination. This, would, this end normally plugs into the coil pack of the HT lead sorry, into the coil pack or the uh, distributor, and this one goes, uh, shrouds around the spark plug and makes sure it goes uh, again onto its destination. So, um, multimeter wise, I've got my multimeter set to 20K, which is 20 kilo ohms. Uh, it's one kilo ohm per thousand ohms. So we're expecting high resistance in these leads. And obviously I've got my black uh, probe into the COM for common earth and my red uh, probe into the VR or ohms because I'm using the ohm setting. So I'm gonna start from the top the longest one, I expect the highest resistance in this one, and I'm gonna work my way down, expecting the resistance to drop each time, uh, staggered quite evenly. Um, just mention, if one of these does have high resistance, it's gonna cause a spark to fire for less time, so you're gonna end up having rough idle and uh, lumpy uh, running conditions. If it's broken altogether, or there's a crack in the wire, or a bad connection, and it's, it's open circuit, you'll have a misfire on that particular cylinder. So let's start with the longest one first. Um, I've labelled these up so I know exactly which uh, end each of these cables is going into. For myself on this distributor, it's actually marked with each uh, cylinder that it's going to adjoin to, so it's quite easy, but it's always worth marking them up if not. So I'm just gonna put my negative on one end. It doesn't matter which way around you do these and the positive on the other end. And again, at 1,000 at kilo ohms, the longest wire has 14, around about 14 uh, ohms, kilo ohms. I'm gonna put 14 there. Next one down then, I'm gonna expect less in this one, as I say. So again, doesn't matter which way around again, but we'll go the same as before. So one into there, one deep into there, make sure you find the metal contact, otherwise you won't get a reading. So that particular one, the resistance drops a little bit as the current finds it easier and easier to pass through the wire. So we'll go for 8.38 there. We'll go to the third one. Again, make sure you find the metal contact. And then onto the negative on the other end here. And we're definitely on the metal contact in there and I'm getting absolutely no reading. So one shows open circuit. Sometimes it'll show OL for open loop. So actually the little voltage coming out of the battery in the multimeter passing through this cable is not getting to the other end of the cable. So straight away, I can now say that the misfire on this particular engine is definitely at least in number three cylinder. So I'll put OL for open loop. There is no continuity in that particular lead. And then the last one, Let's have a look. So I've got one in there, one in there. I'm getting a reading of, on the shortest lead, 10.35, we'll go with 10.35. So actually the resistance in the shortest lead is greater than the one in the second longest. So for me, this is on its way to failing. So there's bad, either a bad connection on, on one of the clips or the wire itself's got uh, a kink or some damage in it. So that one would ideally be replaced because that was potentially going to cause a misfire sooner or later. But number three, 
this one has failed so somewhere within here there is a, a full break in the HT lead and that is causing misfire on number three cylinder on this engine um, so I will be ordering a new set of HT leads and distributor cap sometimes it's worth checking, checking the distributor cap as well because these contacts as the rotary arm spins around hits these four contacts for each cylinder these contacts do wear down over time and eventually it will lose connection and it won't be able to send the high voltage across to the corresponding port for the HT lead in this case they're not too bad a uh, little bit of corrosion on that one uh, but as part of this pack it will be coming with a new uh, distributor cap and a new set of HT leads for this particular car hope that makes sense see you on the next one